Herrera Van Maal. At 71 is the uh, number. She was double clear in the Grade C on uh, day one of the senior premier here with the six-year-old mare by Cassini. Herrera Van Maal said, Mimi Beecher, 71. It is a score of eight there for Mimi Beecher and Carrera Van Maal Z. So uh, two clear. Tim Davis, one of those. He's back now. It's Barrett Watson's number. 63 is the number. Fifth in the Winter BNC qualifier here two days ago. Tim Davis, Lionel Van der Marquis Landon, 63. So now the uh, turn of number 262, Graham Gillespie's uh, horse it is, a two-tin love. Ryan Lockwood takes the uh, ride. He's been jumping double clears in the Great C, incorporating the senior fox hunters here this week with the 10-year-old uh, Great C mare by Calvaro. Two-tin love. Ryan Lockwood, 262.
Just the four sixty nine one zero and uh, that fence down for Ryan Lockwood and Toot in Love. Three five five next to go. It is uh, Joe Trunkfield, the winner of uh, yesterday's Blue Chip Dynamic BNC Championship Quad. <laughs> Leslie Ward's Quantos Van Heads Meyerhoff for Joe Trunkfield. Number three five five. Sixty-two eighty-nine. it is four there for Joe Trunkfield. Just the two clears so far and that one of the uh, quicker four falters may well be in the uh, money. Four qualification tickets on offer in the Winter Grade C qualifier today. <coughs> Eight point seven three, and it is uh, clear there for Jake Elliott. Django Blue, we're up to three now in the uh, Winter Grade C qualifier first round. <laughs> Jumping next, it's uh, Olivia Paul. Olivia and uh, Michelle Paul's quality, a combination that booked their ticket to the Blue Chip Winter Show Jumping Championships yesterday, taking eighth in the Blue Chip Dynamic Winter B and C qualifier. It is uh, quality. Olivia Paul, one three two.
That is Unlucky 6290 and the uh, final part of the double, the uh, final fence on track down for Olivia Poole for there for quality. 16 have gone, three clear so far. Jake Elliott, Faye Adams and Tim Davis. So now to uh, number 328, it is the turn of Abby Walters, this uh, her own horse, the uh, Irish bred seven-year-old. <laughs> Abby Walters, 328. Two down, another finishing with the eight fold snap. Eight for Abby Walters, Miretta Mina. 377 is uh, next to second line for Lottie Tut. This is the eight year old.
277, up next, a combination that are heading to uh, the Blue Chip Winter Show Jumping Championships, Blue Chip Karma uh, Performance Championship Final later uh, next year. It is Alfie Bradstock, Tracy Priest, Fazita Beach, British Bread, eight year old, number 277. Sixty six eight three and eight for Alfie Bradstock and uh, for Zeta Beach. Three zero one goes next. A uh, horse that's been double <laughs> in the great seas here this uh, week. An eight year old uh, great scene mare by contact van der Herfink. It is Jana van Kloserhof for Harry Wainwright. Three zero.
Well, the last fence goes as well for Stephen Mercer, puts him on a score of eight with Mums the. Twenty-nine. It is so clear for Fair. She's taking two through to the jump off of the Winter Grade C Qualifier Five, heading through at the moment. Four tickets on offer and five to go. Will Walker riding for Team Harmony goes next. Sixty-seven. The number of Ditto Vincent Martin double clear and second in the Blue Chip Dynamic B and C Championship Qualifier yesterday. Will Walker Ditto Vincent Martin sixty-seven. Ninety-five uh, second in the uh, BNC uh, qualify yesterday and through to the jump off today for Will Walker. Ditto fancy. <laughs> Two seven zero now. Moonface JX, a seven-year-old mare by Clarius, out of a mare by Kalorubin, owned by Gordon Bailey. Douglas Duffin takes the ride. Two seven zero.
68.41 and clear that sees Douglas Duffin through to the jump off with Moonface JX. Three left to go in round one. It's Joe Cunfield up next. Joe with uh, David Jones as Calandro the fourth. Seven year old gelding by Ashway Callisto. Calandro the fourth, number 357, Joe Trunkfield. So Joe Trunkfield retires there. In one six, it's uh, just the four for Tim. <laughs>
65-51, and it is uh, just the four there for Kelly Taylor and Ferro O'Pal. So it's uh, a total of seven who come forward to the jump off. The six money awards on offer and the top four to uh, qualify in the winter grade C uh, championship qualifier here today. The uh, jump off fences three, 13, five. 8A, 8B, 9, 10, 11B. Time allowed in the second round, 55 seconds. Take a look around that course. We start at fence number three, the red, blue and white oxer. Long run down to fence 13. New fence in this uh, jump off. Fence one in reverse. From there, left-handed to uh, fence number five, the multicoloured poles with the wave fillers beneath. And then uh, turning right-handed back to uh, fences 8A and B, both parts of the uh, blue, white and uh, yellow double. The ox are going in one stride to the uh, vertical coming out. Right-handed on the curve to fence number nine, the uh, yellow oxer in front of the cafeteria. Time check as they land, they turn right-handed for home to fence number 10, the planks, and then to finish a long run down over the uh, second part of the multicoloured double fence, 11B. So again, that time allowed 55 seconds, six money awards on offer, top four to qualify. Up next, the jump off of the winter grade C qualifier. So our track is set for the jump off of the winter grade C qualifier. Seven come forward to contest this second round. Six money awards, four to qualify for the winter grade C championship. We start with the young lady with the two rides in this jump off. The first of those, David Ford Viva La Vida, number 145 for Faye Adams.
Great way to start, 36.28 and a clear for Faye Adams. Of course, another ride to come in the jump off for her. But the standard most definitely set there by uh, David Broadhurst, Fever La Vida. Landing from the yellow on the in 27 seconds. Will Walker goes next, second in the uh, BNC qualifier yesterday. Can he go one better today with Team Harmony's Ditto Van St. Martin, 67, Will Walker. Thirty-six, seventy-seven, and four faults there for uh, Will Walker, Dido, Vance, and Martin. None of our seven combinations qualified for the Winter Grade C uh, final. So we're at the top four to take those tickets today. Faye Adams leading. Our only double clear so far. Thirty-six to eight is the time to beat as we head up to Scotland. Douglas Duffin, Gordon Bailey's Moonface JX two seven zero thirty-six. Thirty-six point five six and four, quicker than uh, Will Walker's time. So into second for Douglas Duffin and Moonface at JX. But Faye Adams still leading, thirty-six to eight and clear the target. She's got another ride to come in the jump off of the Winter Grade C qualifier. Well, should be Lottie Turn next to go, but Jake Elliott joins us. Jake, you happy to go? Yep. Okay, here we go. Jake Elliott, Jake and his own Django Blue, number three, six, seven.
37.12 and uh, four there for Jake Elliott into fourth place. Just three left to go, so uh, Faye Adams guarantees a qualifying ticket to the Winter Grade C final. She leads. Now to uh, Lottie Tut. It is uh, the horse owned by Lisa Hales. Number 377, SFS Arla. Lottie Tut. <laughs> Touches the last, it stays 39.12. She knew a clear would be enough to qualify, and that's what she got. Into second for Lottie Tat, SFS Arla. She guarantees a qualifying. Two one point one four and clear for the six year old Gillian Graziana heading to that winter grade C final. So six money awards and the uh, top four qualify for the Winter Grade C final. And uh, heading there and taking victory, Faye Adams and David Broadhurst. Fever La Vida. Lottie Tant second, Tim Davis third. And in fourth, taking that uh, final qualifying ticket, Douglas Duffin. Moonface J. 